Hey guys, in this video, I take you on a big fishing trip with my family. I also tell you the secrets of how to catch a big gummy shark in the Victorian saltwater bays. We also catch a whole heap of flatheads, which we actually bring home and eat. I just had a lot of fun, guys. I hadn't seen my family in a very long time. This was a very, very fun trip. I hope you guys all enjoy it. After hopping on the boat, we make way for the perfect fishing grounds, which is about a 20 to 30 minute trip from where we launched the boat. We also brought two little dogs along with us. After arriving at the fishing grounds, we popped in a little bit of squid and we just went for it. We got bites pretty much straight away this day. Oh. Mum, do you have a bucket for me? Yeah, I'm getting it. Well, I got a fish, so. I finally got my first fish. We actually averaged about 15 fish each. And there were about four people in the boat, making it 60 to 65 fish caught in total. It's awkward for me. Why? It's my hand, not good. Oh. Which one's the one? The nut. Andrew got another one, and Paul got another one. As the day progressed, the fish just wouldn't stop biting. We were landing them everywhere and anywhere. If you can see the water, you can see that it's very, very calm and glassy. And this is basically the ideal conditions for catching fish, guys. You don't want there to be a lot of um, what we call choppiness or waves or wind, uh, because that will disturb the fish from eating. You want it to be really, really calm and glassy, just like that. Um, and that's when the fish will bite the most. So guys, another thing to note as well is to keep in mind the tides and when they turn. So high tide this particular day was around 12 p.m. Um, and we made an effort to go out uh, around um, 11 a.m. So that would give us an hour till high tide and then the tide would turn. And we actually made it way back to the shore around 1 p.m. So this gave us about two to three hours worth of fishing time in the most ideal time and hours that fish are actually biting. So guys, another thing as well, which I'm just gonna add right now is that the moon actually does affect how much fish will bite as well. And obviously the moon affects the tide, uh, vice versa. So if there is a full moon, many times the fish are not gonna bite much. If there is a very dark black night beforehand, that's more likely when the fish are gonna bite as well. Beautiful day today, look at that. Nice and glassy. Glassy, glassy. So we're just using this squid as bait at the moment there. Yep. And got a big flatty right there. So guys, my family actually uses drifting to catch a lot of the flatheads. The reason why is because flatheads are actually bottom dwelling um, sea creatures and they basically eat all the leftovers that are left at the bottom of the sea floor. And when you're drifting, you're actually kicking up a little bit of dust um, because of your sinker and that actually attracts a lot of those flatheads to come and investigate that dust and then therefore take a bite out of your, your bait. So that's what we do. Just like this. You can hold it on like this, Mum. I don't think so. It's a big flatty. Oh, look. I can see oh, it. It looks like a oh, gummy. It looks like a gummy shark. Oh, That's all right. Yeah, they're, good to they're good to eat. I'll just feed, Mum. Yeah. Don't lose it. 
Oh, that's so sick with the fish. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's talking. Sorry, boy. I just filmed him for a bit, Mum. So, caught this gummy. He's a very good size. Look at that. Thanks for filming, Mum. Yeah. Look. Oh, he's good. He's heavy. <laughs> I think he's my first gummy here. Yeah. Frankie can Frankie, sniff him because... Wow. Okay. okay guys, this is the bit that you've all been waiting for. How to catch a big gummy in Victorian waters. Uh, what you'll need is a pretty big bait. So the bait that we used was actually big chunks of squid. Okay. And it's pretty self-explanatory, but if you're trying to catch a big prey, you want big bait. So you can see that those are squids on my my line are actually really really big and that's to attract uh, the bigger fish okay the next thing that you'll need is a, a pretty heavy sinker as well and obviously you'll need a very heavy duty reel um, the trick with a, a lot of people that go fishing and, and are chasing the bigger fish is that they'll yank on the rod way too early when the hook hasn't settled on the fish you need to actually wait for that fish to take it so once the fish has truly taken it, you can actually see at the end of their rod, it will keep on moving up and down. Uh, that's when you yank it a little bit, but then you also need to add slack in your line, guys. And the way that you can do that is just by turning that knob so that when you pull the, the line, it actually clicks and the line is let out. Because a lot of people will just pull way too hard um, and they'll fight against the fish, but you actually need to tire that fish out by letting the line go out with the bigger fish so that you can reel them back in when they're a little bit weaker. Yeah. Fairly clear and glassy, but you can see the, see the, the ripples now. See the uh, seaweed going out now? Oh yeah. So my mum just said the seaweeds are going out, out into the, the inlet the over there. Near the Franklin Channel. Oh, I got one. So at this point in time, the tide was actually on the way to turn and you can tell because the weather will whip up a bit um, and there'll be a little bit of wind and also the the waves will get a little bit more choppy um, and that's when you know the tide has turned guys okay when you can see all those changes in the weather we were actually still catching fish so we didn't go back at this point but they keep on coming off Oh, I got one. Yep, here he is. Frankie, go away. Mom, Frankie's like really annoying. There's some bites here, but... Hi guys, so wind's picked up a bit, we were going to head off uh, back to where we launched the boat, but we decided to just try again and my dad caught a pretty big flathead uh, just now. Um, so it's quite rough the water, as you can see, it's going to be hard to get back a little bit, but we just want to give it one more go. Um, and the tide is, I believe, turned already. So we're just waiting for some fish, but definitely not biting as much at this point in time. As the day was coming to an end guys, the fish were biting more inconsistently, so we would get a few bites here and there in a few locations, but definitely not as consistent as the start of the day, so we knew that the time was coming for us to head home.
Yeah, yeah, give me the regular. Yes, regular. So guys, uh, we we keep on fishing now because actually the, the tide, um, the weather has died down a little bit, so it's less choppy, um, and we're catching a lot more fish consistently now. Um, so we're gonna keep on fishing for now. I think uh, we might head back around one, and it's around 11:30. Uh, almost 11.45 now, so an hour still to go fishing. And there's Jabby right there. Like I just said now guys, the fish were coming on again and the weather dropped off a bit. So it was time for us to fish again. Guys, make sure that your pump is working in the boat, okay guys? Or else you'll end up like this where you'll have to scoop all the water out from the back of the boat. And this isn't so good, okay guys? We actually found out that that pump had a circuit um, problem and that's why it stopped working and stopped pumping water out the back of the boat, out of the boat. So guys, this is basically the end of the fishing part of the video. The next part of the video is just us uh, really just packing up, putting the boat back onto the trailer and having a bit of fun on the beach. So if you're not interested, uh, you don't have to watch, but if you are, please do watch. Um. All right guys, so just arrived back on shore. Um, very, very hot day today. I think it's 29 here, but around 35 uh, to almost 40 in Melbourne. And, um, we're just going to put the boat back up and clean the fish and uh, I might show you the whiting that I got uh, just about 15 minutes ago. But really, really good day out on the water. Hey, Jamie boy.